Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another headline. This is breaking news. Julio Fulio just got clapped up out there in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, y'all hit the like button, subscribe button, and share button. Hit that notification bell so you know what I'm dropping. Let's jump into this. Let's jump into this. As you all know, if you haven't, uh, been informed, rapper Julio Fulio, age 26, has been gunned down outside of the Holiday Inn Hotel. I got a couple of videos I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go! Talking about Charles Devin, a Jacksonville rapper who made numerous headlines over the last couple of years, was shot and killed overnight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Phillips. We're talking about Charles Jones, also known as Julio Fulio. Tampa police say four people were shot and one of those died at a Holiday Inn parking lot. Fulio's attorney confirmed it was him and he was celebrating his 26th birthday. On your side, Zach Wilcox joins us live now. And Zach, Fulio had a large following here in Jacksonville. Yeah, Riley, millions of views on dozens of different videos on YouTube, 45 million views on one video in particular, and he was also a frequent face on our newscast due to his connection with the violence that we've seen over the past couple of years in Jacksonville. So I talked with our First Coast News crime and safety expert about what Fulio's death means for crime in Jacksonville moving forward. That's how, you know, once you get in that culture and that lifestyle, Kind of difficult to get out. Fulio started gaining attention in 2019 when his brother, another Jacksonville rapper who went by Bibby, was killed at an apartment complex in Moncrief. In July 2020, the rapper was shot in Houston, famously posting during his recovery stating, y'all miss a hundred shots. In November 2021, Fulio was shot in Riverside while getting out of a car. So he started gaining notoriety. He started getting more hits on social media. Then in April 2022, he was arrested for illegally tinted windows and fleeing police during a traffic stop. In October 2023, he was shot in the foot on 18th Street in Jacksonville. Police said it appeared suspects were waiting for him and ambushed. And there was no off-ramp for him at this point. Some of the things he said and had done had been memorialized over and over and over again. And, and in some way, he, you know, he was held in high esteem, but he was also creating himself to be a big target, too. It all culminated this weekend when Fulio was shot and killed during a birthday celebration in Tampa. The rapper's attorney said he stayed in an Airbnb, but was asked to leave when his party went over the occupancy limit. Tampa police report they were called to a Holiday Inn just before 5 in the morning, where they found two cars riddled with bullet holes and four victims. Three were still alive and were taken to the hospital. The other was Fulio. Everybody's worried about retaliation or retribution. They always are. So unless you're looking at a ton of time in prison, that's when sometimes you get people talking and you get somebody who's trying to mitigate their situation and says, I can give you this. First Coast News crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says JSO will play a role in that investigation despite the shooting happening in Tampa. Bachman says authorities will be on the lookout for another domino to fall following Fulio's death. Uh, total disrespect for one another, and then that disrespect fuels that anger, and then you have a, a blatant disregard for life, life at that point. Tampa police said this morning that they're working to figure out how this all happened, what started before the shooting, and they are also, they didn't release any suspect information at this point. Story in Tampa where police are still looking for the person who shot and killed a rapper and hurt three others outside of a hotel there. Three others were injured in that shooting, as we said, but 26-year-old Charles Jones, who was also known as Julio Fulio, was reportedly there to celebrate his birthday. I think he was turning, what, 26 or 27. Police are still trying to figure out a motive for the shooting, but in some of his songs, he made jokes about the murders of people and other groups as well as rappers. Um, I heard probably two series of shots, maybe like five shots each. Um, and then probably like five minutes later, just heard some voices. At that 
hotel because according to social media posts, his pool party at an Airbnb was shut down by police. He alerted people, listen, I'm moving my party to this other hotel so people knew where he was going. And the people who ambushed him allegedly came there to do that. Three other victims are being treated at a hospital. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this Rooted in Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Me personally, y'all got all the facts. He was beefing with another big rapper, Young and Ace. Um, but outside of the beefs, outside of how disrespectful Julio Fulio was, he took this, uh, they considered him a Florida drill rapper. We all know that drill came from Chicago, Chief Keef, Lil Durk, Lil Reese and them, FB, FBG Duck, 63rd, we got the, uh, what's that, Terra Town, Lil Bibby, Lil Herb, we got all these people coming from Chicago, it was jumping, right? And so it was, Drill was just a part of rap, but what the music industry is trying to do, make it, make that rap, like if you ain't doing this, you ain't gonna be big, but before I get on the music industry's ass, I wanna get to Julio Julio's last moments, the last five hours of his life, because something not adding up, Something's not adding up. You just like we know he was dissing these people, doing some hor horrific things, going to the cemetery, talking bad about uh his ops and all this type of stuff. I mean just blatant disrespect. Now before I get to Julio, why I said something's not right, this has been going on since the bloods and the crypts. I mean, if you ever talk about disrespect, this has been going on. In California for years, talking mess about the others, dead homies. California been doing this is nothing new. You you you, you kill your they, you kill your op, you cross their name out, and you let everybody know who did it. Disrespect. So this disrespect is not new. Well, at least for a Calif a guy from California, this is not new. Kill you, cross you out, and uh, like say your name is uh. Lil Tony, they'll write Lil Tony and then cross them out. Now, the only difference was they didn't incriminate themselves. They didn't put it on there. They just knew that it was a gang. So we don't know which gang did it, which gang member did it, but we know that a Crip did it from this particular street. Ninth Street Crips, they put Lil Tony's name on the wall and crossed them out. And it, at the end, it says Ninth Street Crips. We don't know which member did it, but self-incriminating been going on, the disrespect, disrespecting the dead, this been going on. It's just so intense now because back in the day when the music was jumping, the gang music was a part of hip hop. You still had your fun rap, you had your gangster rap, you had your R&B rap, it was all mixed up. Today, they wanted all drill. So back to Julio Fulio, this ain't nothing new, but this, Julio Fulio cannot be this stupid. I don't believe this young man was this stupid. You know what you've been doing. Just like we we see you out there disrespecting these people. You know you disrespected these people because you're the one that's doing it. And then you're going to allow all these people around you. If, I don't believe Julio Fulio dropped his location. I believe he had all these people around dropping the location. Julio Fulio could not be this stupid. As disrespectful as you are... <laughs> Even with all the love, even with all the, Charleston White said it was love that got him killed because uh, Charleston White was talking about when he was in the barber shop, he was getting so much love from people, his guard was let down. That's why he got hit upside the head in the barber shop. But he said when he was pushing out that hate, he was on guard because he knew the, the shit that he was talking was going to get back to him. Julio Fulia had, a, they say he had, a, that boy had a lot of enemies. He was feeding off it. And that just go, goes to show you that the music industry, the labels are corrupt. They love seeing black destruction. They love seeing black destruction. That's why I was like, man, that's kind of crazy because when I was uh, younger, an OG nigga from uh, Oakland, he was telling us, man, you're not gonna get in the industry unless you do A, Y, and Z, meaning like the radios, the sponsorship, Sprite, they're all in it together. Nobody's gonna come into that system and disrupt it, right? Unless your music is purely this music. 
uh, soul music, music soul child, Angie Stone, if you're talking good music like that. Most people, when you go out to the clubs, most clubs, now you got your rowdy club, but most of this music, the drill music is played on block parties and uh, the ratchet clubs. But most venues, most clubs, they want to hear good, positive, feel good music. Like the gorillas, feel good. Most of the, when you go out on a town, the music is upbeat. It's, the music that people look for when they go out is uplifting, vibrant music, right? That music, drill music is not even being played like that. Only to, it's only youngsters at these little ratchet ass venues, right? But when you're talking about music on a large, large scale, it's feel good music. Michael Jackson, feel good. Whitney, feel good. Even Tupac, feel good. Changes, it's all about humanitarian things. You know, uplifting people, getting people through the day. If Julio Fulio is this stupid, that's very unfortunate. And another part of me said, I don't believe this man is just stupid. I what, what I believe is that um, some deals he made with the label, you know, some there's something something demonic or some type of deal he made with the labels, you know, or maybe he didn't have enough money and he wrote in the will that if he you know if he gets killed, you know. Maybe he set something up in his death to where his family's taken care of. Because I heard he wasn't getting that much money. And maybe he had a, a not so much a death wish, but maybe he knew in death how much light was going to be shined on him. How much light was going to be shined on the situation around him. And how much publicity he was going to get for his family. I believe he did this for his family. I believe Julio Fulio wasn't that rich. There's a song called Cloud Cobain by Denzel Curry. Explaining in detail what's going on and how the music industry worked and what these drill rappers or uh, clown rappers, whatever you want to call them, crash test dummies, what they really going through. Maybe he thought if he dropped his location, he knew them boys were looking for him. And he, like I said, even if he didn't drop the location, you know there's a strong possibility somebody's going to drop the location. I believe Julio Fulio had a death wish. And I believe it was for the benefit of his family. Because in today's time, you're worth more dead than alive. What y'all think? Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about the whole situation? Julio, Julio, Young and Ace, the crime, the 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 drill music. They're only going to push, if you're a young up-and-coming artist, you know, either you're going to make some music about eating ass or killing. What do you think about the drill, the, but the music scene and Julio Fulio? They saying that he dropped his location, knowing that his ops are looking for him. Y'all believe that? Y'all feel I'm dying to know what y'all think. I believe he took it. He allowed himself to get up out of here so he can take care of his family. Two five zero capital G, rooted in music TV. I'm gone.